Hello everybody, Jim here uh, with a quick little video for you today uh, because I just couldn't help myself. Uh, I just got this game in the mail. I pre-ordered it months ago, been waiting uh, for this with great anticipation. Uh, just got my copy of the Rays Arcade Chronology. And so while I do intend to do a proper uh, scripted full review sometime in the future, uh, I just wanted to take the opportunity right now uh, to kind of gush about this game and share it with everyone because I don't know that everybody is aware that this game was uh, just released. Um, so what is Ray's Arcade Chronology? This is an arcade compilation of all three games in the Ray series by Taito. And if you don't know what those are, they are Ray Force, Ray Storm, and Ray Crisis. And you might have seen some of these games by other titles because they have had uh, several other titles in the past. So for example, Ray Force on the Sega Saturn in Japan is referred to as Layer Section. And I believe it's Galactic Attack in North America on the Saturn. And I think it has like one other title uh, that I can't recall right now. And Ray Storm is also sometimes called Layer Section 2. Uh, so a little confusing, they do have several titles, but um, these are some amazing top-down shooters uh, from Taito. The, um, the port's over to the Switch here, and I think it's also available on the PS4. Um, but the port was handled by M2, uh, who if you, you know anything about M2, you know they've been doing really great stuff porting over shoot-'em-ups with their Shot Triggers uh, series. So they've ported over other arcade shooters by Toa Plan and Cave. They've been doing an amazing job. So they handled the ports here. They, it's really fantastic uh, conversions. And uh, I've just been having so much fun with them. Um, if you've never played one of the Ray games, they're really great, kind of just straightforward, top-down shoot 'em ups um, But with the addition of a special laser attack, so your ship has a reticle in front of it, and if you pass it over enemies or destructible objects, you can lock onto them and blast them with lasers. And then you can get power-ups to increase the amount of lasers, uh, the amount of lock-ons you can do at once, and the power of your lasers, and also the power of your, your main shots. In the first game, there aren't any super bombs or anything like that. You just, you have your laser and you have your primary shot and that's it. And then in the two games that follow, they started to introduce like super bombs and super lasers and stuff like that. Started to uh, kind of build on the gameplay a little bit, uh, which was especially awesome. Something else that's very cool about this collection though, if you're gonna play Ray Storm or Ray Crisis, you not only get the original uh, arcade versions, you also get HD versions of both games where they really like cleaned up the visuals, uh, made it look a lot sharper, a lot nicer, so that's very cool. Um, if you're like an old school purist, you can still play the original Ray Storm, the original Ray Crisis, just as it was in the arcades. These games are, uh, from what I can tell, pretty much arcade perfect. I've played these games on pretty much everything. I've played them in arcades, I've played them on the Saturn, I've played them on the PlayStation. Uh, I've always loved these games. The first one in particular, Ray Force, is actually one of my favorite shoot 'em ups ever. I have a real soft spot for this game. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and the visuals are just amazing. Ray Storm and Ray Crisis went full 3D, and they do still look really good, uh, especially sometimes when the, the camera is moving and changing around and stuff. It almost gives me um, very slight, slight Panzer Dragoon vibes, which I like a lot, but still, uh, the first game remains my favorite because I do like just that outstanding, very detailed uh, pixel art look to it. Um, it looks amazing, but all these games look great. They all play great. The soundtracks are really great too. All three games feature soundtracks by Zuntada. Zuntada was uh, Taito's like in-house band. They made really great music for a ton of different Taito series at the time. Uh, you'll recognize them a lot, mostly from the 32-bit area, so like the Darius games from that time, the Psychic Force games, which always had great soundtracks, and uh, the Ray games, so uh, that's fantastic. Um, the one thing where this collection falls a little bit short, though, there aren't really much in the way of bonuses. Like, there are little achievements that you have in-game that you get for, like, uh, destroying bosses or getting, certain, like, high scores or completing the games or something like that. Um, but they don't amount to much more than just having the achievement and there's like a little badge. You don't really unlock anything. Um, so that's, if you're the type of person you pick up these collections and you like the bonus materials, like recently 
I really enjoyed the Capcom Fighting Collection and the Belt Action Collection, and I liked the additional uh, stuff they had in there, like artwork and things from like uh, arcade flyers and posters, just things to look at, and, and that's really cool. I like stuff like that. I like if it, you know it's available right off the bat, or if you unlock it, whatever the case may be. I like little bonuses like that included in collections, so there's not really anything like that included here. Um, so if you're a stickler for that kind of thing, that you know might irritate you a little bit, but the games themselves are amazing. The ports were handled beautifully, and again, you get those HD versions of Raystorm and Ray Crisis, um, which is what I've been playing because I, I want to just see what like what they look like. What can you do when you clean up this um, you know mid 90s 3D? Give it a, a nice sharper look because they already. Um, were kind of ambitious with their 3D at the time because, again, like I said, there was like a lot of camera movement and really big boss battles with huge like mechs and battleships and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So it was already kind of ambitious for the time it was made and just cleaning it up for the HD versions. They look just amazing, fantastic. Um, so that's really it. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Like I said, uh, I do intend to eventually write a full review of this collection. Uh, like in-depth, blah, 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 whatever. Actually, I think individually on my channel, I've already reviewed uh, Layers Section and Ray Crisis like a long, long, long time ago. Um, these are some of my favorite shoot 'em ups ever, but I just wanted to turn the camera on and say that, um, that the Ray's Arcade Chronology is out now. I pre-ordered my copy from Amazon Japan. Um, so if you have a Japanese Amazon account, I, I think they do international orders and stuff. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you might want to look into that. But I'm pretty sure you can also get this through like Play Asia. And I think there's another, maybe someone like Strictly Limited or someone like that is also going to be handling a release of this. But uh, it's fantastic. If you like these games at all, you're going to want this collection. If you like shoot 'em ups at all, I would say you're going to want this collection because it's amazing. Uh, three great games, uh, and one in particular, Ray Force, being like one of my favorite shoot 'em ups uh, of all time. So, um, like I said, I pre ordered this months and months ago. Like, as soon as I heard that this was being made, um, I pre ordered it, and M2 crushed it once again. Um, basically, M2 can do no wrong at this point when they're porting uh, shoot 'em ups. So, the Ray's Arcade Chronology, uh, pick it up, gets my highest recommendation. Go for that. And that's it, everybody. Like I said, quick little video. Just wanted to just turn the camera on and gush about this awesome collection. Uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, go play your shoot-em-ups and uh, have some fun. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Goodbye.